Well, they've been a part of the race day at IMS for decades, but they're the balloon release before the 500, creating some controversy tonight. A billboard campaign wants the tradition to end. Yeah, our Jenny Runovich shows us tonight why some people believe the balloons pose a risk to wildlife and the environment. Back home again in Indiana. Pre-race pageantry is beloved at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but a new campaign is taking aim at tradition. The new moon sends all its fragrance. The balloon release before the 500, targeted by a new billboard calling on the track to stop littering IMS. We're just hoping to bring attention to this mass littering because a lot of people are just unaware of how you know easily avoidable this is. Danielle Vosberg co-founded balloonsblow.org. Her organization works to stop balloon releases nationwide because of environmental concerns. Just last year, Clemson University ended its colorful tradition at home football games. Vosberg says the problem is where these go after they're released. What goes up must come down, and even though they might not be landing right near the IMS as litter. They're being found, you know, over 100 miles away. One was found in Ohio. Balloons are a threat to animals on land and sea, wild and domestic. Cows, horses, cats, dogs, they are eating them and dying too. The balloon release at the track has been part of race day since 1947. An IMS spokesperson tells Eyewitness News the tradition will continue, but added we continue listening to and evaluating feedback from multiple perspectives on the topic, we're reaching out to several stakeholders and talking with experts to fully understand the impact of this practice and determine its status in the years ahead. We just need to treat balloons like our other garbage and dispose of it properly. We're not out there tossing out other garbage, so why is it okay to toss balloons? A part of the greatest spectacle in racing, now under caution. And something interesting happened during the course of us working this story today. I want to show you where that billboard was. This is at 16th and right near Harding. You can see the billboard is not there anymore. It was supposed to be up for three weeks, but we noticed it came down sometime this morning after we shot our video. Now, we reached out to balloonsblow.org. They said they reached out to Outfront, the billboard company that runs these billboards. The billboard company, they said, told them that IMS called and asked them to take it down, thinking it was an attack ad. Well, we reached out to IMS and they said not true. They certainly allow anyone to express their opinions. They said it was actually the billboard company who viewed it as an attack, said that's against the billboard company's policy, and they took it down. So a very interesting day for a very interesting subject that will likely be talked about for quite a while. Amory. All right, Jenny, I know we're getting all this information coming in minute by minute on this. Thank you very much.